Understanding what it means for something to retain water will be important as we learn about different types of soil. Today we'll be doing an investigation with some common materials so that we can focus on understanding what it means to retain water. In this investigation, I'll pour 100 milliliters of water through three different materials. Foam balls, cotton balls, and marshmallows. I'll collect the water that passes through each material in a graduated cylinder to determine which material retains the most water. About 90 milliliters of water passed through the foam balls and was collected in the graduated cylinder. About 25 milliliters of water passed through the cotton balls and was collected in the graduated cylinder. And about 96 milliliters of water passed through the marshmallows and was collected in the graduated cylinder. So here's your question. Which material retained the most water? Take a minute and discuss that with your classmates, then I'll be back to talk about the answer. When something retains water, it holds onto the water and doesn't let it pass through. So the cotton balls retain the most water in this investigation. You can see how much water comes out of the cotton balls when I squeeze them. And because the cotton balls absorbed and retained the most water, I collected the least amount of water in the graduated cylinder in that trial. The cotton balls retained most of the water, so very little of the water drained into the graduated cylinder. I'm sure that this is what you and your classmates came up with. So keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.